In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AWeber's import campaign codes right after this. Hey, and welcome to another episode of Marketing Hacks. I'm Ronnie Rock Smith with USA Digi and RonnieRockSmith.com. And in this episode, I want to show you how to use the AWeber import campaigns codes just in case you have these and you want to import a whole sequence. There's several marketers out there that actually give you import codes for AWeber. So if you never heard of AWeber's import campaign codes or you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, what it is, it's a simple code that marketers give out to help the newbies by using their campaigns from inside their AWeber account, okay? So it'll speed up your process. If you're a newbie, you don't know what to write, you don't know what to say. You just import these campaigns into yours, change up a few things, change the links, change the name or whatnot, and then you're good to go, right? So I just reviewed a product called 10X Commissions Machine by John Newman. And this was actually a bonus video that I wanted to add to that product. So if you want to see what that product's about and you can get one of these codes, which I'm going to demonstrate in this video, just go and check out that review on my YouTube channel, okay? I'll go ahead and put a link to that at the end of this video so you can see it and click on it and go check that out if you want to, if you want to get this import code, all right? So this is what I'm going to show you right now. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to import a campaign. So I have this seven day sequence from John and I'm going to show you how to import it in here. Also how to set up your footer and do a simple copy and paste to speed up your workflow. So what we're going to do first of all is we need to import the actual sequence. So I have the code copied in my clipboard. So first thing we need to do is come up here to message once you're logged into your AWeber account and click on campaigns. Okay, it's gonna bring you to this page here. Then you can simply click on create campaign. Okay, I want to import a campaign and I'm just gonna paste in the link that I have and import it. Okay, and I can name it here. And I'm just gonna write seven day sequence. Okay, and then click on create. Okay, here we go. So right now it's in the draft mode, so that's fine. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So see inside this campaign, you simply click on the message, it'll show up here, and you click on that again to start editing it. Okay, so with these, you wanna go ahead and you know customize it to your like and feel, the way that you write your messages. You may wanna keep some stuff in here if it's relatable to you. Um, I kept some stuff in here because it was kind of relatable to the type of thing. I just changed different uh, for the job status, what kind of job it was, the years and all of that good stuff. And of course, you wanna change the name here to your name, right? So you go ahead and do that. And of course, you wanna scroll down and change the links wherever you see links at to match your stuff so you want your facebook group here you want a your welcome video here your white listing video um and whatnot but let's talk about the footer that's the main purpose of this bonus here so here's the footer okay so you got the image and you have all of this good stuff here where you could provide your own free training if you don't have all of that stuff you can just delete some stuff but if you have your facebook group you can put your facebook link here just change your image just click it and you can upload load your image in here okay pretty simple right but what i want to do is i want to keep this and this down here as a template so i can just copy and paste my template in to the new thing as you can see it says templates here right so if i have already created the template i go to my templates here and if i click on signature links this is the one that i saved my own template that'll bring my template in as you can see here right so i copied just this part here and created a template out of it so let me show you how to do that right quick just gonna choose cancel down here so what I did was I wanted to keep just the bottom portion so what I did is just deleted all of this stuff up here and just kept the good day first name of course I'm not from those parts of the countries that he's from so I would probably say hi or hello or hey right this good day is like Australian type of accents that they use the way they talk there. But you know, change it to your own way that you want it to be. So this is what I would do guys. I would delete all of this stuff and just keep the bottom. Go ahead and backspace this. Just up into here. 
just like that. So now only thing that I have is the first name tag up here. And then I have this box here, which we're gonna edit. Okay, so I would go ahead, first of all, change the image like this. I would click on there. I already have the image, so I'm just gonna grab mine inside here on the My Images. Okay, there's my image. Now I would just rename all of this stuff. If you have these things, like if you have a, you know, a YouTube channel, if you have a course about list building, any, you could take all of this out, but just keep some stuff in there, some training that you might have, right? And uh, some courses or whatever. If you don't have all that stuff, you could just keep the Facebook group. You want to create that for sure. And for sure, you want to be doing a YouTube channel if you're going to be doing the affiliate marketing thing, right? So that's two things you could keep in here if you don't want to do any of the others so this is ministry of freedom this is jonah armstrong's high ticket uh webinar so i have my link in place of that but this is how you would do it guys okay so this is what i want all right let me just get out of there so nothing's selected and then i would do save as template okay and i would name my template so i would put footer or signature bottom of email whatever whatever you want to do you go ahead and do that okay so i'm not going to save it again but that's what i would do there once you do that template in there you can go ahead and save it so once the template is saved right you got your template saved it'll take you back to this section here now what you want to do is you want to undo this okay undo what i did here i'll keep going undo undo until i get all the text back okay you only have to do that for this first one okay once you get all your text back in here then you can go through this and go ahead and change whatever you want to change okay your template is saved and then what you want to do once you're ready to redo this whole thing again here's what you need to do now once it's edited and everything's in place all your links are in place now you're going to go ahead and copy this okay this is what you're going to do in each email sequence so you would copy this and now what I want to do, now it's copied, I want to go to my templates. Okay, back to my templates, to the one that I saved, which would be this one here, signature links. Click that. Okay, then go ahead and click apply. All right, and now come up here and just paste in the text again. Okay, so everything's going to be back like it was. All your links going to be in place. Okay, I'm just going to delete this one since I have that top one already in my signature. Okay, like that backspace it up so now you got your email in ready all in place and you got your signature in place as well with all your links intact all right so that one's done so i will go ahead and save and exit here okay then you go to the next email i'm just going to do two with you so you can kind of get the feel of what we're doing here see i'm a loser again i'm just gonna go ahead and change the links to where i want them to go first of all do that edit any text in here you want that makes sense to the way that you're going to be writing okay after you do that then you're going to go ahead and copy this again okay copy that and now get out of it so nothing selected so you can see your templates tags over here and select template go to your templates again select that one apply come back up here and paste it in okay again i'm going to take that good day out because i don't talk like that and i already have this one was already in there for me that i put in in my uh template and that's it guys so you want to do this with each email remember to edit everything edit the links before then you want to copy it go to your templates Paste in your bottom footer and your little top thing's gonna be in there automatically. And then paste in your links here and everything's gonna be cool. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do one more so you can kind of get the feel just a little bit better and then we'll stop on that third one. So I'm gonna save and exit. Okay, I'm gonna go to the third one here, ask me anything. Click on that, open it up. Okay, this one's a little shorter. And this one doesn't have any links, so it's going to be even easier. So we're, I'm not going to even copy Good Day because you've seen that I already have first name up here with Hey in my template. You can do that in your template as well. Okay, I'm going to copy that, get out of the editing phase, select my template again. Come down here, click on apply and then paste in the text. 
Now, of course, in here I have to change some names though, right? We have to change this to your name. So it would say it's Ronnie here. And down here would say Ronnie the Dope Bear Rock Smith. And that's pretty much it, guys. So it's be a fast and easy way to get your signatures and your bottom things here in the position that you want them. So you could go through your sequence really quickly and get it done. Yeah, so you can see how easy it is to just copy and paste that signature and to use these script codes, right? So I hope that this video helped you out. Go ahead and leave me some comments if it did. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already so that you don't miss a single episode of Marketing Hacks. I'm Ronnie Rock Smith with USA Digi, and guys, happy marketing.